Hi guys, this is Daryl and this is another Fit Tip of Today. In today's segment, this is actually a request that was sent to me via email from Brett all the way from New Zealand. He wants to know how to do the Scott Press. Now, the Scott Press, there's been a lot of different variations online and I want to clear up that um, a lot of those are incorrect. A lot of those are more of an Arnold Press than they are a Scott Press. An Arnold Press is when you bring your elbows in close <clears throat> and you bring your dumbbells together and then you swing out as you're going up, you're swinging and turning the dumbbells out. Now, the thing about this exercise, it's not a bad exercise, but it requires a lot of energy. So from here to here, we're not really getting a whole lot on the deltoid. It's, it's when you come up and then you turn the, the dumbbell is when you start to activate more of the deltoid. So we're kind of losing a lot of energy when we do that. The Scott Press is a little bit similar, but it only works the last three-fifths of that movement. And that's what Larry Scott um, realized is the, the most important part of that movement to hit the deltoids. Um, Larry, I believe, as the story goes, he was injured. Um, he injured his shoulder while he was training. And rather than resting, he decided to continue working out. But he took a dumbbell right away and started to do this movement pattern. But just he shortened the range of motion so it didn't interfere with the, the pain receptors and it allowed the healing process to increase but also he was able to find the range of motion that could still work to develop the deltoid. And so it actually did work and it became an exercise and, it's, and it was so good that um, Vince Girona liked it and Vince used it in his programs and his teaching. So it's a great exercise especially when it's done correctly. Now I will demonstrate what you want to do is rather than bring the elbows in close, we're going to kind of come out here so the elbows are further out. And we're going to go a little bit higher with the pinkies than the thumbs. So we're going to be in this position to start. Now we're going to just work the last three-fifths of that, that pressing motion. So it's here. And then we're going to swing the elbows back. Now when I swing the elbows back, I'm also going to bring my head forward so I can get more of the posterior deltoid. So, so as I'm going back, I'm pushing up a little bit, bringing my head forward, and really trying to activate the posterior delts as well. So it becomes more of a full deltoid exercise. And so here in front, now the cool thing about this exercise is that it really isolates the deltoid and you get a great pump out of it. A lot of times you do shoulder work, it's, it's very difficult to get that really deep burn and this exercise really gets it because you're totally isolating the deltoid and you're not using any other muscle groups. When you do this, the, like this, the Arnold press or military press, we're using other muscle groups to assist in the actual movement and that's going to cause less focus on the deltoid. So when you're doing that, that Arnold press, you're in here and then you have to swing and then we push up. So through that, you're using a lot more energy to get the, the actual weight up. When you do a military press, kind of the same idea, you're pushing up and then by the time you get to a certain point, the triceps take over and then less displacements on the deltoid. Scott press just keeps the, the deltoid lit up the entire time because the resistance, the way the hand is with the thumb down just a little bit, and the pinkies up, you're going to get more and see, you can really see the deltoid. If you put your hand on your deltoid, you can actually feel the, the, the mass of the deltoid activate the entire time without even having a weight in your hand. You can still feel that. And if you put your hand on the posterior deltoid, you can feel it snap out as you get that elbow back. So the elbow has to come back to, to engage the posterior deltoid. So this movement pattern doesn't have to be super extensive in this, this huge range of motion, you only need 
like Larry said, the last three fifths of more of that Arnold press motion. And that's really enough to activate the deltoid. Now, if you look at Larry's and Vince's students over the years, and th those that did this exercise, I mean, obviously, you can, you can tell that it works. So they, 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 they knew what they were doing when they came up with this exercise. So it's a great exercise. It's one that I always use as my, uh, for my own personal use as well, in addition to teaching st students and clients. Guys, if you have any questions regarding today's video, or you want to see more videos like this, please send me an email. You can find my email on my website at www.darylcurrent.com. I sell books and videos on Vince's methods. If you have any questions or you want um, some clarification on some of the exercises, please give me an email and I'll, I'll help you out as best I can. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.